the owner who is no longer interested in dealing with this tenant. Like he's like, dude, just bare basement price, way cheaper, fire sale, get it away from me. Here are the most recent photos I have. Sell it to one of your investors. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, that's where we're at, guys. So it's gonna be as is, no questions asked offers. Good everyone, it's Angelo Ramora here with Oz Realty. And um, this is what you can afford when you work in real estate. I mean, honestly, guys, buying dumps like this, renovating them, you can make an absolute fortune. Trust me, obviously, because I've got this fantastic car. So you're getting a house um, that is in a condition that is much better than what you're normally going to get for this price, $29.9. But the, the flip side of this is you have to evict the scumbag tenant. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. We got a solid, solid opportunity today. Big time money making opportunity. Look at this thing, right? Uh, but it ain't going to be easy, okay? There's there's money to be made, but it ain't going to be easy, okay? Look at this bad boy. Now. We're doing things a little differently today. What I don't have for you is the normal video tour, right? I got uh, some Google Earth action, and then I have some photographs, okay? But this is the house, all right? The address is 2296 Seaman Road, Toledo, Ohio, right? You can kind of see what we got going on in the street here, right? All right. This is the street, you know, lower income area, okay? And when you get lower income areas, folks, sometimes these properties, they're a little bit difficult to manage, okay? That is what we have going on here. Let's pull up all the info on the chart. 2296 Seaman Road, Toledo, Ohio. Priced $29.9. It's a 3-1. The current tenant needs evicted, hence the reason we don't have uh, a full video tour. Normally, you'd be able to get $1,100 a month. Now... The owner, who is no longer interested in dealing with this tenant, like he's like, dude, just bare basement price, way cheaper, fire sale, get it away from me. Here are the most recent photos I have. Sell it to one of your investors. I don't want to deal with it, okay? That's where we're at, guys. So it's going to be as is, no questions asked offers. Here's some of the photos that we uh, got from the seller before he moved, uh, before, like, him and the tenant completely broke down. Some of them are right before the tenant moved in. Some of them are a couple photos of the tenant already being there, right? So he did like a renovation and then the tenant stopped paying him rent. So he's, you know, he's pretty bummed obviously, right? But that's part of the business. When you get into this game and you're trying to do this low income rentals, sometimes you're going to get tenants who are going to fuck you over, right? His loss, your game, right? So renovated like living room area. Here's the tenant's bedroom, okay? Uh, just like the front door area, you know, tenants like dining room area. He's got his guitars and shit, the kitchen, uh, big ticket item here, right? Furnace newer, right? So the guy already paid for the furnace, uh, more kitchen. And then here's the hot water tank, right? So like the big ticket stuff, y'all already taken care of furnace, hot water tank. You're not getting like a, a trashed roof, right? So you're getting a house, um, that is in a condition that is much better than what you're normally going to get for this price, $29.9. But the, the flip side of this is you have to evict the scumbag tenant. However, you don't have to necessarily evict that scumbag tenant yourself, okay? What works best in situations like this, guys, when you get these low-income in re rentals, instead of being this guy who goes in, spends all your money renovating the property, and then gets involved in a situation where you could no longer handle the tenant yourself and you just say, screw it, and you fire sell it, and you lose money, what you should do is bring in a team of professionals, okay? You got to bring in a team to handle these piece of shit tenants, right? And anytime I'm doing a deal in Toledo, the team I'm bringing in is going to be Oz Realty, right? I'm sure at some point when Tyler uh, brought up the chart, maybe he brought up the chart right now. I don't know what Tyler does. Tyler gets fucking wild when he edits these videos. You've seen Oz Realty's contact info thus far in this video, or maybe you're looking at it fucking next to me right now. It could possibly fucking be right here. I don't know. Again, Tyler, he gets wild when he edits these videos, but... Oz Realty, they're the property management team that I work with when I'm operating in Toledo, and they're the kind of people you want to hire 
uh, when you try to do a deal like this, right? Because if you try to do a deal like this on your own, you don't get professional management, you're going to end up just where the seller who wants to sell this to you is right now, right? He's fire selling it, selling it for less than it's worth because newsflash, for those of you that don't know, low-income tenants, they could be fucking pieces of shit sometimes, right? And that is the situation this guy's dealing with, okay? So you, the smart investor, you have to come in, make an as-is cash offer, you get no inspection, okay? If you want, you could check out the outside of the property. I mean, if you want, you can knock on the door and see if the tenant's going to let you in. Uh, you know, he probably isn't though, right? <laughs> Imagine if some random dude just showed up at your front door. It was like, hey man, uh, I know you're not paying your landlord. I'm thinking about buying the house from him. And then like when I buy the house, you have to pay me or I'm going to evict you. Um, but anyway, before I decide if I want to do that, you think like I could walk through your home right now? Like, can I just like sit on your couch, right? Like how, how well you think that's going to go over, right? Uh, but if you want to do that, go go for it, right? I mean, knock your fucking self out. I, I, he, he might fucking knock you out. And that's not my fucking problem. Uh, like if you go there and you bang on his door and then he punches you right in your fucking dick, uh, I'll just tell you I told you so, you dumb motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> that's the risk you're taking on doing that. Uh, but outside of that, you got to make it an as-is, no questions asked offer, right? I know a lot of you guys, you know, you get in these situations, you're like, oh, it seems like a really good deal. I just have to do my due diligence. There ain't no fucking due diligence involving you getting in the fucking house, motherfuckers. That's why the house is 29.9. We have a problem. Seller has a tenant he can't deal with. We ain't getting you in there, okay? We have a solution to the problem, though. You buy it, 29.9, no questions asked, and then you hire some badass motherfuckers like Oz Realty to get in, and they will dick kick this motherfucker out of your house, and then we'll get you some good tenants. Those good tenants will be paying you about $1,100 a month, and you'll be making moolah, right? So if you want to get the biscuit, you got to risk it, motherfuckers. As is cash offers only, sales at HoltonWise.com. Again, I highly recommend you hire a team like Oz. Uh, those folks, they, they're who I come to when I need any type of information, work, assistance, anything on any of my deals in Toledo. You might even be able to bounce some ideas off of them. Uh, discuss this property with them. I know my guy, Angelo. You guys have probably seen him on Holton Wise TV a whole bunch of times. Most of those times, he's not wearing pants. But, you know, that's just... That's just for you guys, right? That's just for the uh, entertainment value, right? We're trying to, you know, draw on those eyeballs, those attention, shit like that. Because, you know, he's a business owner. I'm a business owner. You know, we got to get the eyeballs on the product so you guys know what we can do. So outside of, like, the funny shit you guys normally see him doing, Tyler, at some point during this video, you should be playing. Play a clip of that motherfucker driving that stupid-ass fucking, what is that? Like a fucking moped or something? Like a scooter? Yeah, just... I want to see right, like, you know, maybe next to me right here. Like, can we see Angelo with his fucking Australian cock hanging out while he's on that scooter? That was just, that was a good time. That was just good stuff. But anyway, guys, the jokes, that shit aside, this dude's a badass motherfucker in regards to business, and he doesn't fuck around. And that's the type of person and company that you need to hire to survive in this, uh, this business, this low-income stuff, right? So you got to take on the risk. You got to put up your 30K. You don't get to do all your due diligence and all that jazz again unless you're showing up at the house and for some reason you convince that tenant to let you in there. Maybe maybe if you offer him a few hundred bucks, he'll let you in there, okay? Uh, but other than that, you got to make it sight unseen, as is no questions asked, and then I highly recommend you hire some badass motherfuckers to manage it because it by no means will be an easy process to get this guy out. Uh, but with proper tenant screening, you should be getting some better tenants in there on the next round. Send those offers when you're ready to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Good day, everyone. It's Angelo Ramora here with Oz Realty. And um, this is what you can afford when you work in real estate. I mean, honestly, guys, buying dumps like this, renovating them, you can make an absolute fortune. Trust me, obviously, because I've got this fantastic car. Um, it took me so many years to be able to afford to purchase a car like this. And finally, I was able to buy it and I'm so proud of it. And you, yes, you watching can do the same thing too. All you have to do is work very hard and listen to my three-step process of how to buy a fucking dump like this property. So let me show it to you. Let's go check it out.
So guys, step one is find a trusted realtor that is going to help you find the property on the MLS that you will pay way more than what it's worth. Okay. Um, hmm. It would be good if I could sit up there, eh? Um, you, you can't kill it yourself. Wait, what? Let me try this. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Oh, oh, dude. No fucking way. Dunlop golf balls. Look, we got a new pack. Holy shit. Mate, that's a whole lot of balls right there. I'll tell you that much. Mine are much bigger, by the way. Much, much bigger. Oh. Ooh. Look at this. Callaway. Not bad. We got a saw in here. Good, man. Lots of good stuff. Wait. Oh, fucking hell, man. I don't have insurance, Matt. <laughs> okay. It's like the it's like the car insurance, right? Yeah. If you hit someone that doesn't have insurance, as long as your coverage covers them, we're good. Okay. We're good? All right. Detroit Avenue, scene three, take one. Step two is get a contractor from out of state, pre-qualify them. I'm sure they're gonna have a squeaky clean background and they will give you the best possible price there is. And then they'll tell you the work is done when it's not done, but you'll keep paying and paying and paying and paying. And I've got no doubt in my mind that you're gonna do the rehab at budget, if not below budget. Step three is, guys, this. Find a trusted property management company that is not going to nickel and dime you to death. Toledo is very well known for amazing property management companies. It's been like this for over 10 years now. If you Google Toledo property management, you will find a lot of fantastic property management companies, um, in particularly one called Oz Realty, who is by far the most reputable in town. And I suggest you check out the reviews. Um, and yeah, guys, look, jokes aside, um, yeah, we bought an absolute dump here. Um, I tried to sell it to some investors. They didn't want to buy it. Um, not sure why. Um, you saw the street. Uh, it's a fantastic street. It's the Washington Local School District. Um, comparable sales that aren't even commercial or duplexes, which we wanted to convert this property into a selling for anywhere from $120,000 to $150,000. Um, I had this property listed for $105,000. Of course, all the renovations were going to be completed. We would have made a decent profit on it, but nothing, nothing too crazy. No one wanted to buy it, so I said, fuck it. Um, we decided that we are going to renovate this property and we're going to turn it into an um, office for Oz Realty. Um, we're pretty much completely virtually based. We don't, e don't even need an office. Um, that's how automated we are, very tech-orientated. Um, but, you know, we still need some kind of presence. So we're going to be moving in here. In around a year's time or so, we've still got a one-year lease on a, another office that we used to own that we sold because, again, we didn't need the space. But, yeah, guys, look, again, all jokes aside, I know we're having a little bit of fun here, but um, we can definitely help you with renovating absolute dumps like this property. It does take a lot of time. We're going to charge fairly for it, but we can do it. We've been doing it for, for over 10 years now. So I hope you enjoyed these fun videos, and I hope to hear from you soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.